So I would say my favorite part of living in a bus would be the fact that I can travel and do as I please. So I first plunged into the bus life in October of 2018, and prior to that I was working a 9 to 5 job, just living paycheck to paycheck, and I felt like that really wasn't something I wanted to do, and I didn't want to spend the rest of my life doing that. So I looked into alternative lifestyles, and I ended up finding out that van life was quite popular, and I was looking through social media and seeing that a lot of people were doing it, so I looked in getting, at getting an RV first, but for some reason, the bus just kind of came to me instead. So I ended up driving to Chicago to purchase the bus. And ever since then, it's just been, it's been an adventure. Hello guys, my name is Luke, AKA the Digital Nomad Guy. And this is my 2003 Ford E450 7.3 liter power stroke diesel school bus. Currently unnamed, but I figure in time, the universe will grant me with a name for her. So this is my interesting paint job that a lot of people seem to be attracted to. I started this about three months ago. It was originally black, of which I did spray paint the entire bus black, which was great because it gave me a blank slate to work with. I can't say that I had much inspiration for this. I just kind of bought some paint and threw it up there, and this is what I kind of came up with. All right, so when I first bought this beast, it had 100,000 miles on it. Currently, only 138,000, and it is a 7.3 liter diesel. So diesels, this one in particular, they usually call them the million mile engine. So this beast has a lot of life left in her. All right, so this is my wonderful bathroom. It's not finished yet, so it's not glorious by any means, but it does what I needed to do. All right, so up top here, I got my little shelving unit with my handy dandy baby wipes. I'm sure all you van lifers and nomadic people out there know what those are all about. Then I got my trash bags down here that I use on a daily basis. Um, laundry detergent, cleaning supplies, got my vinegar, my bleach. And then that's pretty much about it as far as the bathroom goes. So the toilet that I have in here is uh, actually a toilet that I got from an RV. So it's just a typical RV toilet. And it actually drains into a black water tank which is stored underneath this unit here and then it drains out from the side. So which is, it's pretty convenient because I can just go to dump stations and then dump my waste as I need to. All right, so this is my kitchen area. This is a, a spot where I spend a lot of my time on a daily basis actually. Uh, so this is my stove, of which I just painted today, to be honest. I threw some spray paint on there to make it look more uh, pleasing to the eye, so to speak. And as you can see up here in the corner, I have my old pal Wilson, since uh, I'm a loner. I live on the bus by myself. He's my companion at the moment, so that's where he chills. Uh, we got my blender up here, uh, water supply. Let's get my drinking water up there. And then I have my spice rack over here. I use a lot of spices when I'm cooking. And this is my sink area. And down below the sink, it's kind of just a storage area, but I also have my gray water tank, which is, I believe, a 20 gallon. And then I have a tank here that goes to my toilet, and that just contains an RV solution. Uh, it's a solution that goes into the toilet that kind of chemically deodorizes everything. And this is my sink that's uh, powered by an electric pump that I have that's all connected to my solar. And I only have cold water, though. I don't have, uh, the other one doesn't work currently but I don't really require hot water, cold water. I can just uh, boil water on the stove if I need some hot water. Uh, but that pretty much consists of my kitchen area. And up top, you can see I have storage bins up here. I have eight of them all together, four in front, four in the back, um, all of which are used for storing my food items, all dry food. So I got cereal, oatmeal. Uh, up here, I got uh, snacks, crackers, uh, more snacks. And then this is kind of just storage. So I have bags in there. I have a blender in there as well. Way in the back is canned storage. And that's about it as far as the other food goes. All right, this is my fridge. It's a newer model because the older one that I had took a crap on me. I wanted more storage as well, so I bought something a little bit bigger. This beast here provides all the food that I need and I can go probably about two weeks or so, maybe even longer uh, with a full fridge and freezer here. All right, so this is my living room quarters uh, of which I spend most of my time eating dinner and uh, getting my work done on my laptop. As you can see up top, I have a shelving unit that I just created not too long ago. Uh, all the supplies I acquired from Home Depot. And I threw a couple things up on top to kind of fill in some space. I burned some incense up there. I got some smudge sticks. Uh, storage up here for, well, mainly cables. Um, for a digital nomad, I have to have lots of cables to charge all my devices. So that's where I keep that at. And then to add to the aesthetic feel of the room, I threw a, a rope across. And then I have all these postcards. 
uh, that I acquired from various places that I kind of laminated and I just kind of pinned them up there to kind of give it more of a, uh, a homey vibe. There you go. All right, so my table arrangement here actually converts into a full-size sofa. So as I take all this stuff off here real quick, I can convert it, which pops off pretty easy. And I can just pull these out. And then I have the bottom cushion right here, which I can just place in there. Voila, good to go. All right, so up top here, we have mainly storage space. Way in the back, I have a spare tire. I have a hand drum, uh, I have a backpack. I actually have a bunch of wooden planks back there as well that I put up here on the side of the wall that I have to use probably for the front when I get time to do that. Have my little combo amp here, which is a necessity when you're a musician because you have to have music. And as you can see, I have my acoustic guitar up here as well. And this little crate here is basically just filled up with uh, cables. Um, obviously, a lot of uh, digital nomads need to recharge their cameras, their phones, their laptops, batteries. So that's kind of where I put all my cables at. And over here, this is a recent purchase of mine. It is a Renogy Phoenix 300, uh, which is basically a solar generator. So when I lose solar at nighttime, that comes in handy as a backup if I need to charge my laptop or phone. So over here next to my Renogy Phoenix 300, I have my solar charge controller, which is used to basically charge all the devices in my bus. It runs down to my batteries, which are located underneath my bed. And then I have a power strip here of which I connect everything into to get power. All right, so this is my sleeping arrangement. Originally, I was going to go with a casket, but caskets, uh, they're a little pricey. And I, I'm kind of living on a budget at the moment. So I went with this queen size mattress, which seems to be doing the trick. And I have tons of pillows. You can never have enough pillows. I got uh, a full-size body pillow in the back, another full-size body uh, pillow over here on the side, as well as a regular size pillow, and a little mini pillow. You gotta have your little mini pillow as well. And then way in the back, I have a Trevor Hall flag. So shout out to Trevor Hall. And way over there in the corner, I have a quilt that my cousin's wife made me a while back. So thank you, cousin's wife, for that. It gets lots of use, especially out by the bonfire. And up top, I have a tapestry that is Alex Jones artwork, if you're familiar with him. And it's great to have that piece up there because when I'm lying down, I don't like lying down and I don't like lying down and looking up at wood. I like lying down and looking up at artwork. It kind of helps me sleep. All right, so I have a curtain here as well that's attached to a rod. Uh, this comes in handy because it separates myself from the rest of the bus when I'm sleeping. And it kind of gives myself a little boxed in zone. So I can just slide that over like so. And then bam, I am secluded from the rest of the bus. All right, so underneath my bed here, it basically serves as a storage location. I have my jacks back here. I got tools in the back. I got my original stop sign that came with the bus. Not sure what purpose that serves, but it might be handy when the time comes. I got my inverter here as well that provides me power. And my battery bank is way back there in the corner too, which provides me with 300 amp hours of power. They're marine deep cycle batteries and that provides me all the power that I need to live the bus life. All right, so down here at the bottom of my bus, I have a propane tank that's mounted underneath. I'm not sure on the size of it, but all I know is that it's pretty large because it'll last me months on a full tank. And that is used to supply me with basically just, um, it goes to my oven stove combination so I can cook food. It doesn't provide me with heat at all. I don't really require that at the moment, but that's that. So obviously living the digital nomad lifestyle, you have to have a source of income. A lot of people struggle with this, but luckily back in Michigan, I acquired a degree in web design and graphic design. So that's pretty much what my source of income is. I have multiple web design clients that I collaborate with from time to time. Music is a big passion of mine. As you can see, I have a guitar back here, a guitar over there and a hand drum up top. Then I also have a YouTube channel of which I enjoy. It's kind of a hobby of mine. So I didn't really have a plan initially when I took off and lived the bus life. And to be honest, I still don't have a plan, but all I know is that I have fell in love with this lifestyle and I'm just gonna continue doing what I'm doing. I'd like to thank you guys for checking out my bus today. If you wanna check out any of my travels or adventures, you can follow me on Instagram or you can check me out on YouTube at the Digital Nomad Guy. Till then, safe travels, peace out.